Good morning. Today we're going to talk about spinal cord infarctions and uh, spinal TIAs. Not going to introduce myself this time because two weeks ago I did. But I know what you're all wondering is, does he just own white shirts and purple ties? Or did he film these sessions on the same day? You will never know. So, what is a spinal cord infarction? Spinal cord infarction is uh, stroke either within the spinal cord or the arteries that supply it. It is a relatively rare event when compared to cerebral strokes or what we typically think of as a CVA. It is caused by arterial sclerosis or thickening or closing of major arteries to the spinal cord. The signs and symptoms uh, that you may see with this. The neurological presentation of spinal cord infarction is largely defined by the vascular, vascular territory involved. A spinal cord infarct can happen anywhere along the spinal cord. The severity of the impairments can, be, can vary widely from paraplegia to minor weakness, back or neck pain, which can be minor to severe, uh, and often accompanies spinal cord ischemia, and has been reported in as many as 70% of the patients, typically occurring at the level of the lesion. Symptoms, which generally appear within minutes or a few hours of the infarction, may include intermittent sharp or burning back or neck pain, aching pain down through the legs, weakness in the legs, paresis, paralysis, loss of deep, deep tendon reflexes, loss of pain and temperature sensation, and incontinence. Often acute para or quadriparesis or para or quadriparalysis is the presenting symptom initially. Here we have a 63-year-old female with a spinal cord infarct who presented with acute quadriparesis. Um, as you can see in the part of it B and then down in D, you can actually see the area of uh, ischemia, and that is the spinal cord infarction. Spinal cord TIAs. Um, are even uh, rarer than spinal cord infarctions, and they can last a few minutes to a few hours. Uh, basically, spinal transient ischemic attacks are just like the traditional TIAs that we think of with cerebral accidents, uh, and are considered to be a warning of something uh, worse coming. Spinal cord infarcts and spinal TIAs should be suspected in any patient that presents with strange and often confusing neurological signs and symptoms. Treatment by us is the same that we do for suspected strokes. It's no different. Thank you for your time this morning. That was a quick little talk on spinal cord infarcts. Uh, we occasionally see patients like that. We've had a couple over the last year, but again, there were events uh, out there. Have a good day.